What's up ladies and gents, welcome back to the one and only Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays. We hope everyone had a great weekend as we did too, but we're excited to be back in office and working on our videos. So without further ado, let's get week 106 underway with Barbara Defer on Ziggs. At the start, we see him wander down to bottom lane as Nunu and Vayne wait patiently to strike. All of a sudden, Vayne tumbles into a condemn, smashing him against the walls. He takes huge damage, but then he decides to fight, bursting Vayne and then dropping his ult, getting the kill and jumping out of there with a Z. Let's watch that one more time in slow motion. As he cues Vayne and then his ult hits, bursting her down really low as he uses satchel charge to line up one of the sickest jumps, just barely clearing the wall while grabbing the kill and saving his life. Coming in at 4th place is a level 5 Snorlax playing on Zyra. At the beginning we see her chasing Shen in her jungle, bursting him to about half health when he suddenly turns around with a taunt and Lee Sin emerges out of the brush so she flashes back and finishes off Shen and then she swaps to Lee Sin as the Ezel hits him and we slow back down as he runs away. She lands a great blind root on him and then runs in to get vision and Q's but he resonating strikes the dodge and runs to the edge, flashing into the Baron pit but she quickly reacts using her Q to aggro Baron and finish him off with a crafty 2 for 0 exchange thanks to some thinking outside of the box. Scoring in at our number 3 spot is Dream Shockwave on Jax, who at the start gets flung back by Singe as the enemy Lee Sin comes for the gank. He pops Counter Strike and runs in, stunning the Singe as Lee Sin slows him and ults him back into the brush. He wastes no time, leap striking back in on the Lee Sin and dealing massive damage to him, forcing him to retreat with Flash as Karthus emerges from the jungle. He avoids the wall and goes into the brush, hoping to catch the Lee Sin, but he's gone, so he decides to run back towards his team, using Ghost to just barely escape, and then suddenly Karthus starts to ult, so he quickly turns around, popping his E and then queuing to Karthus, stopping the ultimate just as it was about to land. Karthus tries to follow with Flash, but he jukes at his Q as his team rushes back and finishes off Karthus for the insane 2 for 0 exchange. Coming in at second place is X Typhoon X on Zed, and right off the bat we see the enemy team pushing to win the game. They get on the Nexus as Zed comes in using Living Shadow and trading places to finish off Rengar instantly and then Elise afterwards as they get on him. He then swaps his in as Lux ults and Trisana jumps to burst him, but he avoids it all with his ultimate and then grabs the double kill right after. He then uses Living Shadow to close the gap and catch up to the retreating Lux, grabbing the pentakill while solo defending the Nexus and keeping it alive. Not too long after, they end up pushing for the win as he cuts his Zin Zhao around the Nexus with his W and takes the win after such a close game. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have 12 OQQ on Sivir, and at the start we see the enemy team making a push into their base as she pops her ultimate, getting on the Blitzwing as they go after, and she gets pulled in, but she cuts them back towards her tower, turning to use her W, and then landing a great boomerang blade on all four. All of a sudden, we see full stacks on Sivir from Darius, but she uses a clutch shield to negate the massive burst, and then turns the momentum around with Tark, grabbing the kill on Zyra. She continues to chase, but staggers her walk, noticing the Blitzwing wants a rocket grabber, and then she goes for the ballsy move, baiting the pull, and then flashing over the wall right next to him for the double kill. The fed enemy Graves instantly gets on her, forcing the GA, and then flashes away. Tark floats around as he waits for her to come back to life, and as she comes back, we see the remaining three players rush at her, but she heals and lands another beautiful Q onto all three, into a ricochet to finish off the legendary Graves and score the pentakill. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have KBZN on AD Fiddlesticks with an unexpected ending to this team fight. As the clip plays, I just wanted to thank everyone for their patience as we skipped out on last Friday's video to see our families for Thanksgiving. We appreciate the support you guys give us every single day, and if you like our videos, then by all means share it however you want, or just simply like the video to show your support. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you back here on Friday for the next installment of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.